Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Are you ready to go through my absolute favorite wig styles from 2019? This is going to be an epic episode with lots of different styles to go through. Not only am I going to tell you why I selected these styles as my favorites, but I'm also going to tell you why some didn't make the cut. Coming up. There's going to be a lot of styles that I'm going to show you in this episode. Styles that have really, in my opinion, really just shined overall in terms of style and quality. So you're going to see quite a few styles today for, across many different brands. Um, now these are my opinions only. I certainly have not explored all of the styles last year, so there may be some that you're wondering why I didn't make the list because I haven't explored them yet. But these are just a few of my favorites that have really cut the mustard. Some brands that did not make the cut this year for me. Um, normally, I can find at least one really nice favorite out of the collections that came out from Tressalore. Um, now, this year, I have not. Um, there were a few design releases from Tressalore. I really love their fibers, and um, I really like some of their designs. But this year, I just didn't see one that really appealed to me. And um, I know that Tressalore went through some, underwent some changes this year internally where they've kind of branched out into to purchasing some other brands and so forth. I'm really excited to try the mid-length, um, I think it's called mid-length wave cut, not very original, but um, it really looks appealing on so many people that I have seen it. So I'm, I'm anticipating exploring that one eventually, but that's why Tressalore didn't make the cut. Um, Noriko and Renee of Paris. Okay, you've seen a variety, and tons and tons, they're just barraging us with new designs every single year, especially this year for some reason. Um, and although I like the styles, they did not make my favorites list. Um, a lot of the styles are very high fashion, and it just didn't appeal to me in an everyday sense. Uh, so that's why Noriko and Renee of Paris won't be seen today. And then lastly, um, Envy. So Envy came out with a few new styles this year. And in my opinion, I felt like the styles were very outdated. They weren't, uh, they, weren't, they weren't real fresh on the styles. And then they started to use this human hair blend, which I felt was really overpriced. It really didn't impress me when I, when I really went through some of those fibers. So that's why Envy didn't make the list. So let's talk about who did make the list this year. It's no surprise uh, that I think my favorite domestic brand is Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch is made by Hair You Wear. They always come out with winning designs, um, quality features. They really seem to have a lead on what we want. Now with Raquel Welch this year, you'll notice that they, uh, they made a lot of hand-tied caps, um, including the one that I'm wearing now. They've taken my favorite editor's pick design from several years ago. I think it's been four years ago now that editor's pick came out, but they've really upgraded the cap into a fully hand-tied design. I love that because now I have just uh, just leveling up a little bit on my very favorite style. A hand-tied cap is super comfortable and it has a lot of better natural movement to it. So I'm really excited to have this one. It's shown here in Honey Toast, which is RL1216, um, a golden, a light golden brown base color with uh, some gold blonde highlighting. Now this isn't my favorite color in the world. I absolutely love their RL1222SS Shaded Cappuccino and would pick that over this style, or I'm sorry, this color, any day. Um, but anyway, this is just absolutely gorgeous, super comfortable to wear. Now, this has also been a year of heat-friendly fibers by Raquel Welch. And I know that a lot of you are either intimidated or put off by them. Wigs are expensive, and if there's a lot of maintenance involved, or if... Um, if you're sure that they're just not going to last, uh, I, I see a lot of you shying away from the heat-friendly fibers. Now, heat-friendly fibers, to me, uh, feel much like human hair. So there is just a real luxury element to the heat-friendly fiber. Um, yes, it does take some additional maintenance, and yes, they do tangle a little bit easier. But if you're the type of wearer that can rotate wigs around and, and just really have some really special pieces in your wardro wardrobe, I think that a heat-friendly style is wonderful. Um, so again, this Editor's Pick Elite and Honey Toast RL1216 made the cut on my very favorites for 2019. So not many 
many long styles made my list this year, but in all honesty, I have not explored a lot of long styles. I actually have a couple from Aesthetica that I just received in that I cannot wait to review because Aesthetica always has a beautiful, very feminine, uh, long style designs. But this one is by Raquel Welch. It's called Statement Style in the color RL1688 Pale Golden Honey. Now this one is only available in shops and salons. It is not available for online retail. Um, you can go out to Hair You Wear, uh, www.hairyouwear.com, and you can hit their store locator and find a shop that's nearest you. That does not mean that that shop is going to have one of these in stock. It doesn't even mean they've ever heard of this style, but if they are an approved distributor of the Raquel Welch uh, products, they can order it for you. So it would be best that if, if you really want this style and there is a shop nearby that is a carrier of these products, that you take a picture or get a SKU number or something off of the website before you go in so they know exactly what you're talking about. But this one is absolutely fabulous. It's a completely hand-tied cap a long, lush, layered style. It's just absolutely beautiful. It is of the heat-friendly fiber variety, so it's gonna take a little bit more maintenance, but oh, it just feels to me like human hair. Um, it feels like it's growing right out on my scalp. It's a completely hand-tied cap. You put your hands in and it just feels like you're feeling your own natural hair. Uh, the movement is gorgeous. It just cannot be beat for a luxury, long style. It just makes anybody look like a million bucks. I feel like a million bucks when I wear this. So everybody knows my sweet spot, right? By now? <laughs> it's those uh, short to mid-length wavy voluminous styles. This one made the cut for me from Ellen Villa. Uh, this is from the Ellen Villa Changes collection. It's called Turn in the color Champagne Rooted. Um, now that Changes collection that came out this year has some very lovely styles. Some real modern, just, just, just things that people want. Um, us ladies love to be looking very stylish in a nice quality uh, wig that looks very natural and realistic. And that's what the Changes line has given us. Um, another thing that I've discovered by examining some pieces in that line is that the cap seems to be a little more roomy than the traditional legacy Ellen Villa. A lot of times Ellen Villa caps would only fit uh, a petite average, maybe average if we were lucky. So that left out a lot of you that had that average large or large circumference. Now the Changes collection, uh, the cap is a little stretchier, a little roomier, so I feel like it's completely average right now. So right now this turn is a beautiful, full, voluminous, trendy bob cut with lots and lots of curl, separated, deconstructed, air-dried look with a little bit of a wedged back. It has a lace front and a left mono part. Love it. This, this went on vacation with me. Um, earlier this year, I'd been on two vacations and I took, I took this each time. Love it. from the new John Renault line for 2019. They had some beautiful styles coming out. Uh, John Renault continues to be very innovative and I feel like this year was a big year for them. They produced some beautiful styles, um, but they've also did a lot of improvements. I think they're really, really listening. I think their ear is to the ground of what we want to see. We like finer densities, we like finer fibers, and I think they really delivered that this year on their new collections. If you notice, a lot of the fibers that they're using now are super baby fine, dry, and uh, move like natural human hair. Just very realistic. Um, the other thing that John Renault I think has improved on a lot this year is the rooting. 
if you notice the rooting even on some of their legacy colors like 12 fs8 isn't the same as it was several years to go they're really listening they're lightening it up they're putting a few strands and highlights in there that go up to the lace front just making look a little bit more natural less harsh that contrast between the root and the color um, so they did a great job now the year before that in 2018 they came out with the california blondes collection my favorite blondes uh, are among that line so let's talk about what i'm wearing now my feet one of my favorites from the john renault for 2019 it's called kendall it's in the color palm springs blonde which is fs 17101 s18 a beautiful ashy blonde color it just it just really nailed it for so many of us blonde lovers out there and i love kendall because it's just the right length um, it kind of gives you that long hair feel without being super long it just grazes the shoulder it has a lace front and a full single monofilament top and it features those beautiful fine fibers very realistic so again this is kendall in fs 17101 s18 palm springs blonde one of my favorites for 2019. Brand new for 2019 spring from John Renault. This one's called Parker. And Parker is in the color Venice Blonde, which is 22F16S8. Love this little style. It's just the perfect length. It has a lot of flirty texture, a little bit of volume at the bottom. Uh, what I love about it is um, it's very attractively priced as well. I think there's an incredible value here. Just over, I mean slightly over $200 at this very moment. Um, and that's before any industry discounts might be applied. So I think this one is very, very well priced. It has a lace front and a left monofilament side part, and you can certainly pay a lot more for this kind of a cap design. The cap is designed very well, uh, very, very high quality. And this is a very versatile little style. Um, beautiful curl. Lots of volume at the bottom, but very little permatease in fact. You're not, it's very flat on top, so it's kind of smooth at the crown, and then it kind of blossoms into a lot of curl and body at the bottom. I just love it with little turtlenecks, and even in the summertime, it was so cute. with Gabor this year for 2019 um, they didn't really have a lot that appealed to me personally of course I didn't explore everything that they came out with last year uh, but this one kind of stood out to me I've really enjoyed it this is called fresh chic in uh, SS sandy blonde which is the GL 1422 SS um, the reason why I love this one so much I think is because it just it, it feels to me like the sweet talk like Sweet Talk walked into the salon and got a haircut. She made it a little more chic, a little more fresh. And I think that's what we're, we're going for with this style. So to me, it's just like a Sweet Talk with a little bit of haircut. I think what's happened is that they've given it uh, the Sweet Talk a little bit of a shorter bang area here. And then they gave a little bit of wedge back, so a little bit of sculpting in the back. They've given it a little bit of an angle. It still has all the poof and volume and permatease as Sweet Talk does. This one looks beautiful with collars, just beautiful. I paired it when I reviewed it this earlier this year. It was 90 degrees down in Georgia, but I just had to bring out a fall jacket to pair it with for the review because <laughs> I, just, I just felt like it deserved a nice collar to really set off that angle another thing is um, well let me first of all point out that there is a lace front and a left monofilament side part it's been in the box a little while i think we've got a few stray hairs here thought and it totally escaped me I had all of the wigs lined up that I was going to propose 
for my favorites for 2019 and when I was starting to rebox them, I noticed this one was off to the side. I had set it out intentionally to review for my favorites for 2019. This one's Beltrus Caliente in the color Butterbeer Blonde. I love this for all kinds of reasons. First of all, it's right in my wheelhouse with that short to mid-length uh, textured wavy cut, lace front, left mono part. But the color, this Butterbeer Blonde, I think it was introduced in 2019, if not late 2018. It was one of the newer blondes by Beltrus. They are really listening to us, and I know they're coming out with a lot more blondes here at some point. They even came out with some new brunettes this year, so they're really expanding their color palette, and Butterbeer Blonde really hits the spot. It's an ashy blonde. It's like a light sandy brown with a lot of ash, light ash blonde highlighting in it. Typically, that's on a light brown root as well. So this is just the perfect style for me for every single day, and I would not want to miss this in my favorites for 2019. selected for my 2019 favorites and this is absolutely number one for a variety of reasons. This is Winter by Aesthetica and RH 1488 and it did come out last winter. Um, yeah it was winter of 2019 I, my years um, but when I had the opportunity to review it I love it again right up my alley with all this beautiful choppy curl Nice length, a little bit of an angle. Reminds me of that Fresh Chic by Gabor quite a bit. I wore this the most all year long. And many of you know that my son was in a serious motorcycle accident in Georgia. I live in Ohio. I was t down in Georgia taking care of him for three months. He had a broken hip, broken knee. He had a, a, a traumatic brain injury. And he's recovered very nicely uh, from his injuries, thank God. But there was a lot of of tumult, a lot of turmoil, especially in the beginning when I got down there. Um, there were some scary things on an MRI, you know, they, they kind of threw around the idea that he might have MS, then they were worried about pockets of infection, they were sending us to different, ho like on the spur of the moment, different hospitals, it was just me and him, and he was helpless. He was on pain medicine, he couldn't see, his eyes were messed up, um, he couldn't walk, he depended on me for just about everything for a little while. But that leads me into why this wig is so special to me. And thank you, Aesthetica Design. Yes, you always gave your support. Not only reached out to me to see how things were going, but you made this beautiful wig that made that time in my life a little bit easier. This is the easiest wig I've ever worn. Literally, this wig has been in every corner, stuffed in a suitcase. I slept in this wig for days in a hospital bed chair beside the bed. Slept in it. I have washed it and washed it and washed it. Um, it was very hot in Georgia that, you know, back in August and September. So I sweat quite a bit, you know, getting that wheelchair in the car and back out again in this wig. We would, you know, at the house, there were constant people in and out, in and out, his friends and so forth. He has a wonderful group of supportive friends in the Air Force and they were in and out all the time. So even though I didn't wear a wig all the time, this thing was always in some corner. You know, I could just grab it. The doorbell rings, I could grab it <laughs> and put it on. I have literally put this wig through hell. And it, I have such fond feelings for this style. I don't think I'll ever part with it. Um, it just reminds me of a period of time where I really had to re dig really, really deep within myself and pull out a lot of strength, a lot of fortitude. I had to set aside uh, normal worries and anxieties to take care of, of my son. And this wig was right along my side. And I gotta tell you, it doesn't look any worse than it did the day I reviewed it last January of 2019. It looks the same. These fibers held up through washing, through sweat, through sleeping on it. I'm telling you, they're just as soft. I don't notice any kind of frizz. So if you're wondering about 
you know, the longevity of this style. You can look no further because I can attest that it hangs in there beautifully. And I feel like this wig should be worn out. Everything that I put it through, it doesn't look a day old. It looks like it's right out of the box. It has a lace front, left mono part, Rounded. Everybody have a wonderful day. That's it. That's my favorites for 2019 among those styles that I've had the chance to look at. And I hope you enjoyed everything today. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Happy New Year.